Welcome to the Neon Cast. I'm Jim. I'm Sam. And today we watched a show with a cat girl in it. Oh, and other animals. Oh, and other animals. Of the kingdom and yes. bugs. <laughs> and there oni- was a giant tick. And demons. Yeah, there were de- there was a succubus. So, they, there was also like an oni, so basically a demon. Yes. All right. So to catch you guys up, uh, this podcast, the Neon Cast, is Sam and I trying to parse. And understand why cat girls are so big. Cat Especially, girls and other creatures. Yes, and <laughs> if, if you're a, a long-time listener, you've know, you would have noticed that we've done some like Monster Girl episodes. But mostly we're just trying to understand what the appeal of cat girls is. Because yeah, you know. there's all these anime with cat girls and we don't get it. And we and think it's kind of weird. Anime and manga and all that some sort. And Garugamash. <laughs> and Garugamash and live action anime like Power Rangers. <laughs> Uh, Swan Girls from Super Sentai. But, so, today, to introduce the show, we watched a little 90s anime called Hyper Police. Yes. Uh, <laughs> which was a, it was, what did you say, it ran, it was a manga that ran from the late, er, uh, late early uh, 90s to so, the early 2000s. So, it was a manga that started from 93 and ended in 04 somehow. Okay, and so then it had a long run. 10 volumes. Did, did it say what publication it was on? Uh, it was in Gekin Dragon Magazine, a shown Tokyo Pop published in America. Okay, well, it's, it seemed like a shonen show. It didn't seem like it was very mature. Yeah, and like, it was, didn't seem like a seinen or anything. And then it was animated in 97. 25 episodes. So, it's a nice run. It's a nice, surprisingly nice run. It, it didn't seem like it could go on for 25 yeah. episodes. I Because the first agree. episode, I mean, you notice, it kind of felt like an OVA. Yeah. Like a really well edited. Like, it has very good animation. Movie. Well, yeah, it had a pretty, pretty good animation. All right, so the basic plot is it's in the offices of a private police company, a.k.a. Bounty Hunters. And it focuses on Natsuki Sasahara, who's the young cat girl. Who, who they mentioned she's like half cat, half. They said half blood. She's, like she's, she's a half, a half blood. blood cat girl. Yeah. That so. was the words they. They don't really explain how the rules of yeah, the they, animals work. They in also this said because the people they hunt were like full on like animals yeah. or creatures, and like they said they lo- they gave in to their wild side. So yeah. we assume like if they go like too far in their animalistic instincts, they yes. kind of. Also, humans are, uh, are endangered species. Dangerous species. Yeah. This is a world. That I the way I like to describe it, it's like a spectrum of furry. Like, yeah. there are humans, like, totally normal humans, and then there's people like the main character, Natsuki, or whatever her name is, who's a cat girl with just, like, cat ears and a t- yeah, like, tail, also her, okay. but she still looks like a human. Yeah, and also, then her partner is, um, what's it called? Batan? Ba- yeah, Batanen Fuji, Fuji, I don't know. Whatever, just Batanon. Yeah, Batanon, basically, he's, like, a wolf guy, and he has a, he has a tail and, like, the ears, but he, but he looks more, he still looks like a human, but, yeah. like, but then there's, like, a random co-worker who's, like, straight up, like, fur, he looked like, like face, yeah, like, Yeah, he had, like, horrifying. a dog face. And, like, whiskers and, like, ears. And he was, like, kind of furry. Like, fluffy. Yeah. So, it's really just, like, whatever the character designers wanted. Oh, as we said, like, there's Succubus. There's... Yeah. The one oh, girl's, like, a bad so, demon. So, yeah. In the next second episode, we got into, an, like, a, like, a nine-tailed fox girl named Sakura. And yeah. don't even try to pronounce her last name. It yeah. is, like, <laughs> a mile long. I'm not even... I'm looking at it. It's, like, half the, half the line for the sentence. <laughs> And yes, and she's like a nine-tailed fox, which we'll get we'll get into her yeah. in the second yeah, we'll, episode. We'll go through. We, we only watched the first two some, episodes. <laughs> yeah, we it, it kind of like not. We'll go. We'll go. Uh, Damn, like, we could as we did it. Apparently, though. we could have gotten the into Botanen's cousin who comes in later on. Oh, I'm sure. I'm, I'm, His cousin Tommy. <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> yeah, like. Oh my god, I love the names in this are all over the place. So <laughs> I just want to do a little introduction, like. The way that the world is set up, you see, it's kind of like a. I have a, a, I have a whole thing written about this, about the setting. About well, the, I want to. Oh, it's better if we just do it from. Well, it takes place in the year twenty two Holy Century, which we got in like the yes. second episode. Holy Century, which I, you don't really understand the time. I'm putting my hands in the air because I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. There's like kind of like a cyberpunk element, but not really. But they're, they're in a city. Uh, what do they say? It's, it's a Sinjink, Sajuko. Yeah, Sajuko. It's like a real city. Shijink, yeah, Sajuko, whoever. And it was like. Mostly destroyed. Like, it yeah, there's a lot of destroyed stuff. There's like a lot, of, and then there's like overgrown, a city part. There's very overgrown, like plant. It seems like there's like old, like an old city and like a new city kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, the kind of setting that you would see in like a post-apocalyptic thing, mm-hmm. where there's like no no civilization, but then there's like street fairs and like, like shops, like yeah. little shops and everything. It's, like, it was they had like, all they had like a swordsman, like swordsman shop. They had very like, racist like, monk, <laughs> <laughs> very racist monk swords sword heat repairman. <laughs> Uh, racism the the kind of a thing that we kind of yeah saw. there is there is a, an, un, an unfair bit so, of racism all right an unwanted bit of racism all right so the 
so let's talk about the first episode then. So we, you know, we're introducing you know, the bounty hunters. Her, her and the wolf guy are yes. kind of a team, or you know, the duo team. He kind of reads porno mag. <clears throat> That's like a yeah, predominant character element is that he's a, a pervert. So if you think of any '90s trait, it's in this show. Yeah, but like this show is very '90s. Yeah, he he looks like '90s guy, but you know he's the '90s perv of like you know sitting outside you know their uh their bathroom mm-hmm. kind of thing, like <clears throat> him getting like stuck sucking in by like pornos. Yeah, or sexy magazines or sexy. Whatever it's called, it was called. Oh, the one. Oh, it was, it was so like funny. It was like sexy magazine or like yeah. sexy or pretty girl or like something. It, it was like new century pretty girl or yeah, like the funniest like of like hilarious English. They uh, they work for police company, <laughs> but they it. are not the police. They are bounty hunters. Yeah, they're <laughs> boss like a little midget version of a racer head on my hero. Yeah, very strange. Yeah, uh, so they also their uniforms have the words PC on the back, so they're kind of like the PC police. So that's always yeah, funny. sure. And that we were kind of because we had to watch we had to watch the first episode we watched sub and then the second episode we watched dub and it was kind of like the dub was horrendous. Yeah, for the most the part, the girl it was like a horrible act. Like, the cat girl, the Natsuki was so unbearable. It was like every the bad Fox female actor you've ever heard. Fox girl was fine and doing her best Faye Valentine mean, impression. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure this came up before after Cowboy Bebop. Uh, Cowboy Bebop was 97. Then probably the same year came out. The whole craze. Uh, so. Who knows when <laughs> so, this was dubbed, though? Um, apparently, uh, Sasahara was 17 years old. Who's that? The, the main girl. Oh, my God. The main girl was 17 years old. Of course she's 17. Well, Cat's only lived to, like, 18, so she's getting up there. She's half, yeah, she was half human, half cat. Yeah, I think Human it's important father. important to stress how much like a cat they make her. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So yeah, she wakes. We we wake up the second episode at her house with like she has like dozens, dozens of, cats. of cats and one cat named Bob who just tired of her shit. Looks like <laughs> yeah. he was he the most like up. relatable character. Her clocks a cat. Of course. She also like goes off and like doing like the like the like doing the paw on her face. She don't lick her hand, but she does it. She just does the mm. motion. Because normally when cats groom themselves, they and... they lick their paw and they rub their face to clean their face. But she just rubs her dry hand on her face. The first thing I seen a cat girl do was eat cat food. Yeah, that was hilarious. She said, "We'll share breakfast," and then she threw the unopened Bob. box. Bob is of, great. She threw Bob. the unopened box of cat food at the, her cat. So I guess he's just. Gonna <laughs> it was starve. like it was like a, like a it was like a milk carton like a, yeah. like a, like a, like a <laughs> but, And then she proceeded to eat a handful of cat food, which was disgusting. Yeah, she would eat cat food. She grooms herself, plays a string. She's like the most stereotypical. Her favorite cat girl. drink is cat. Her alcohol is catnip milk. Apparently, we didn't really catch it. Oh, uh, uh, she just drank a lot of milk. We didn't know catnip milk. That's yeah, her. So any stereotype you have with these things is like turn uh, turn it up to like eleven. Turn every cat girl stereotype up to eleven. Like the like wolf the, guy can heal yeah. up during the full moon or something. Yeah, there's like all these like there's a, a comment about a character who was fighting a werewolf and she said not even the silver tip bullets are working. So I guess werewolf <laughs> werewolf rules apply. Yeah. All right. So she's also a ditz because because during she's the cute. one. The one uh, encounter she had, she, her partner's like distracting the guy. She gets a shot for him, and she takes the shot, and she shoots her partner in the back. In the head. In the head. It shot him, yeah, in, the shot the head. him in the head. They, and then they joke about it later. Yeah, it, it's fine. She just, it, like yeah, it, it everyone just a small makes mistakes. Hole. He said it was literally a small it, hole. Everyone head. shoots their partner, and everyone. Yeah. It's it's just a flesh wound. So she she couldn't use her gun anymore because I guess if so you're a cop also, and you shoot someone, you're not allowed to use gun. She also has two mouths that live in her in her hair that go on Raijin and Fujin who make lightning on her fists. Yeah, and, they they transform into like these kind of wristbands, like that, fist gaunt, like fist gaunt. Yeah, kind of that create lightning, and we never really see them used in any way that makes sense every time they're used it's very contrived and confusing <laughs> it's it she the makes like just... lightning between her hands but then nothing with it and then she like uses it to get people to back off and never use them like all, like offensively yeah the screen like just flashes white and then people are on the ground so we never we don't really understand how these and she also uses like a dagger like she has a dagger on her back that she uses that like, slices through anything yeah but it, also it's useless <laughs> it's it utterly useless cuts through because she's so it's, terrible yeah Alright, and then, yeah, so she gets, so during the episode, she gets, like, a human partner, because he's out of action for, like, an episode. Yes. She gets a human partner. She looks like the girl from Black Lagoon, like, tank top, shorts, and, like, She's just really, tail, really scar. big. So, we, so, halfway through the first episode, we introduce her, and then, like, we get the whole thing, like, her parent, her parents were killed by a monster, she doesn't trust Alien, like animal, animal, animal people. people. So she's just racist she's against racist. animal people. And that's her primary So she character. goes off alone and, like goes after the guy who killed her parents. She found right away because yeah. it was the guy they fought in the beginning of the episode. And the pacing in the first episode is incredible. Like, yeah, so then she, like, it's really weird because she gets, just, like, she finds a guy immediately. She gets beat up by the guy immediately. 
the girl comes in. Cat girl. Ha- the cat girl comes not in and doesn't have anything. She finds a random sword that had me lying around that says it happened to be an Ori Calcum blade that's super strong and cuts through him. And then she trusts her now. They became best friend and they trust like you. You're missing now. an important part. Which she part? she gets the blade and then her like little mice like Rajin Fujin start glowing. Then the blade starts glowing and then her tail splits in two. I didn't see this. I didn't really know the story was the same well, time. It happened. it happened. I believe her you. tail split in two and they seem to be like teasing some sort of supernatural. She's like, gonna be the chosen like, one. She has like some sort of connection we to all the know fox she, girl. It's the, like nineties anime and she's like gonna be the chosen one to save the world. Well, well yeah. She's the main <laughs> character. <laughs> and she's a cute little cat girl. But yeah, so... That's... Then, the next episode, really, there's nothing else. They introduce a new character who's, like, her rival, who's, like, a nine-tailed fox girl. Okay. This is, okay, so <laughs> she's a nine-tailed... She insists she's a nine-tailed fox. The first thing we meet her, she's, like, a cha- like a flashback, she, I guess. Yes, and she, she only child. has one tail. So these ghosts are, like, flying around her. She, she wanders mm. into the forest. These ghosts appear around her. Mocking and her. You start making fun of her. You're a cripple. Yeah. Bro, we have a tail. One one of them literally calls her a cripple that she has a tail. And then she wakes up and she's like, oh, I had that bad dream. She looks like Piccolo. She has like a robe and like the, a turban mm-hmm. on. And she counts her tails and she says, I have eight and one fifth tail. Close enough. She, so she, she has, did, she she has down, nine Jim, tails. She rounded down. She has nine tails. One nine. is just stubby. She rounded down. That's how you work. She can't have a nine tail until she did at least... Point five and up. It's so stupid. It makes sense. I don't understand her character. And her whole entire character is like, I need to kill people to steal their tails so that my tail's better. It doesn't make any sense. There was a really cool mushroom guy, though. There's, yeah, the mushroom, the mushroom store owner who owned the, the porno mag stand. He was just a mushroom. He's he great. wasn't a, an animal He's human. Great. He was just a mushroom man <laughs> with a face. So I'm like reading about these characters more. So Bob was a super intelligent bobtail cat who is her le- who was a legal guardian while her father is away. <gasps> what? Uh, Bob is her legal guardian? <laughs> Apparently. What the fuck? He's, but she her treats father's them like ar- pets. Well, her father was away doing archaeological digs. Oh my god, it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> oh my god. Also, not, how old do you think a uh, nine-tailed girl is? Um, 14. She only looks 19, but she's actually 191 years old. Oh my god. She's a cougar. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate this show so much. But she claims that she looks to be only 19. Um... She was born with only eight. She <clears throat> she has human ancestors. She had eight and one fist tails. So Why? yeah. Why? Yeah. Why does she? Uh... She must have nine nine tails of because she yeah she's trying to get her ninth tail, which she thinks is like beating her or taking her the cat girl's power, like because yeah. she, she mentioned in like the last episode that she like found her and like so and she like noticed when she noticed her like, like mentioned seeing the guy she stole the the wolf guy's wallet. He goes naked, 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 stripped his clothes trying to find his wallet. Cat girl comes in like what? That being naked, and she's like, yeah, oh, I just got naked in the middle of cat girl's here. I have to like get her power so I can get my nine tail and get my power. We don't really know what that power is. Yeah, there's no real explanation. They kind of tease at it, but I'm. Says she has spent hunting for a powerful being to consume in order to attain full power. There's a part where she she knocks the the Natsuki the cat girl over, and then her ass is hanging out and. The um, Sakura, the wolf, the the nine tailed fox girl is walking towards her with her mouth out, and the camera is literally like focused around the ass of the main character. Like the cat girl's ass is just like there, and she's gonna like bite into her ass. It was very strange. <laughs> it was interesting. Yeah, it was. So yeah, so she follows her. The the girl like goes to like. Go after a tick, a bounty hunter, a tick named Danny, who who's fixed, just a tick, a seventy-year-old, seventy-year-old male tick, who is just a giant tick. There's no yeah. human. She aspect, struggles, attributes to, him struggles at all. to say the rights to him. Yeah, she. <laughs> in a comedic scene, she forgets her Miranda rights. <laughs> and then what's it called? Which is stupid. Yeah, so she, during the fight, she like fights Box Girl, and then they have like a standoff. Basically, her she had her shirt ripped. As you know, you in do. in the least attractive place, it was just in her the back. back. Yeah, well, some guys like the back. Like I guess so. her back was very detailed. I appreciated the amount of deep and muscles. They there are people who like a good like. Back you no, know, they take the jet, they take the robe off, and you see the back. People like a good one of those. That's, I think. I, I'll, I'll give it to you. This show is <laughs> pandering to enough fetishes as it is. Like it could, but it it didn't do nearly as much as like some other shows that we've seen. This is the '90s. They had to be classy. Right they, they, I this is no Cat Planet cuties. Is that the one we watched? Kevin and Cuties are the one that just, like, shot every fetish against the wall. Is the one with Asuka and Ray and yes. A.W.? Yeah, A.W. Okay. <laughs> A.W. the anime. I kind of forgot it already. Yeah, it, there was nothing. I'll the A.W. root beer. There was nothing. 
Gillette. Look, we didn't get we didn't get sponsored this no one, man. There's no A and W or Gillette, like nothing. <laughs> Uh, yeah. so, what did you think of the show? Well, how would you rate it? No, don't give me a number. Just the like... first episode was, like, kind of well animated. It felt like an OVA, but everything else kind of felt, like, not great. Yeah. The world's kind of interesting, but they didn't really go into about the world. Yeah, that's the most interesting thing, so, is, like, the wacky world. Do so you remember the OP we watched, we listened to? Like, that went off that pink screen for, like, 30 <laughs> seconds that wouldn't end? <laughs> yes. So. It just, yeah, it just showed the title for, like... It must have been 10 to 15 seconds of just the title on the screen. No OP, no, no like... Just music. Yeah, just looping music. It's, that was very funny. And we see a character, like the samurai character we didn't get to introduce to. Oh my god, yeah, I don't care. Who's a times play samurai, apparently. Oh my god, I hate this. Uh, yeah, and then... Yeah, I thought it was fine. Nothing great. I don't like 90s anime that much, other than, like, you know, Cowboy Bebop. Racist. I the style is not that great... Com- I don't know. It depends. I feel like there's diamonds in the rough. Yeah, everywhere. there's diamonds in the rough. Sure, like, like we're gonna do Outlaw Star soon. Well, I don't know if that's good though. I, I hear it's very good. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, but yeah, what do you think though? What are your opinions? Yeah, I, I kind of agree. Like the first episode was like it was just such a wild ride because the pacing was so crazy. Mm-hmm. It was like every few minutes there was something. There was like a new character, a new plot line that was added. Mm-hmm. And which was just it's it's really fun to watch a show like that because you just you don't get bored. But then the second episode, I was kind of getting tired of the characters, and it was very tropey in ways that aren't fun to watch. Mm-hmm. But it did have a good the, the swirly glasses girl. We had the bat swirly glasses. She didn't girl. talk. <laughs> there was this adorable swirly, try to, swirly glasses bat girl. I'm trying to see if like they actually have like a name for the character. <laughs> like <laughs> no, she's just swirly glasses. I mean, she's in the OP though. I mean, I don't see why not. I always oh, see it look for swirly glasses. Cause that's a trait for not. Why I never got the swirly glasses trait. Wait, what? Do you understand that? Yeah, it's just dorky. I know it's dorky. I mean, do you really? Like, do you realize it's like just their eyes? It's not like swirls. Like you can see their. Is eyes. it their eyes? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll or, show you a picture. The, is it the glasses or is, or is it like? It's the. It's you can see their eyes through the glasses. What's the one? Sailor, recently? I remember the guy from Sailor Fucking Moon. The uh, the one creepy like. The one creepy classmate who has swirly glasses, but then like he took the glasses off and he was the most handsome man ever. <laughs> that's like the stupidest trope ever. I don't understand that guy. Wait, see, look, see, it's their eyes. It's it's their eyeballs. Their eyeballs are the swirls. Well, okay, that's not a good example because that is literally the swirls. But there's other. I was watching something recently. Where... Oh yeah, I forgot about his, his cousin with the glass, the swirly glasses on. Shit, I just watched something where they had swirly glasses, but it's just their eyes. They've been swirly glasses animated. Yes. <laughs> we do research. Research. <laughs> Fuck me. Research on the. Uh... Okay, this is not a good example. These are literally, literally just. I swirly don't. Glasses. I just like don't understand. Like, here, here we go. Is. See, look. <laughs> Those are his eyes. They're they're just the his eyes. are his eyes. Yeah. See, it's like his why, people. Though? Because it's a, a an art style. But choice. why? Because it's shitty. I don't understand it. Like, is it like if you've been trying to make the girl like, attractive girls do it too? Like, I don't understand. Like, it's just a sh- trope. Oh my god, that's that's just, uh, that's just your glasses though. That's from One Piece. That's <laughs> that's Mo- that's a uh, Monette. From One Piece. She's a harpy girl. <laughs> but like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't understand it. I probably won't ever understand. It. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. I don't know, man. I, I I don't know. Um, so yeah, getting back to things. Overall, overall, not like the most amazing show in the world. Not the worst show in the world. Yeah. I've definitely seen worse. Cat girl. I. Uh, <coughs> sorry. We watched Dog <coughs> Days or Doggy Days, whatever that one was Doggo called. Days. Doggo Days. Doggo Days. Dog Days was one of the worst things I've ever seen. <laughs> Stupidest worst thing ever. <laughs> uh, but I, I think it's. I think you know what time it is. Uh, cat girls. Are they cute? What did you think of the character? I, I would say just the cat girl, but normally, normally I'd say just. The cat I girl. thought the fox. The fox girl was cool. I liked her. Like I don't know. I. I would think for Fox Girls, I guess. Would you smash? <laughs> and it, out of all the girls, a smash between her and Swirly Glasses Bad Girl. Bad Girl. Bad Girl. Bad Girl. I love. Bad Girl, Bad Girl legitimately had a cute design, but nah, like, the fucking, they didn't really see a good I'm pretty example sure, like, the fucking cat girl is like autistic with like. She's yeah. She be- <laughs> she behaves like an autistic child. Like literally, like the coworker comes by and she's like poking at his tail through the window. I'm like, you're half human. You shouldn't have like these. Like stupid trees. Yes. Well, like I don't know. I kind of like the, like the world was cool. I thought the world was like pretty interesting, but they never did anything with what yeah. we saw with it. If they if they could do something with the world, and I honestly I I liked her design. I thought her design was solid. 
Her oh. behavior ruins everything. Yeah, her, and her, also her English voice actor. Her English voice actress was terrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it was a so. Person. It was like a before they knew it abridged. <laughs> it sounded like a big like B movie actor who's like zero acting experience. Yeah, oh, so terrible. Like, I hated it. <laughs> yeah, but like everyone else, I thought was fine. Like it was, it's it was just an anime. It was very much an anime. It did it from best or worst anime. It'd be an anime. Yeah, it's, it's a nineties anime. The rated anime out of anime. Yeah. It's like when you see a ninety like a nineties manga or you ever read those old manga that always had that weird like art style to it, like the weird like triangle face. It always had this weird kind of art style. Like I feel like there are a lot of manga like this is looking for like manga and it had like these mm. every time I click on like old one, you see like, the same kind of style, mm. like these old like retro looking like triangle looking faces. That's funny. It's kinda of weird. Uh normally, because normally with manga, like the best part is that you see more varied character designs because the it's just one dude drawing it yeah. for the most part. Yeah. It's just, like, uh... Like, even, like, I've been reading Watamote recently, and compared to the show, like, the art style is, like, it's got its own unique feel to it. Yeah. That's why, like, the, when you do the, the JoJo one, like, the animation, mm-hmm. like, it, it changed their style up for, like, each part, yeah. and the character had, like, their own look. Like, the, part four, you re, have you, you read a little bit of part, like, part four, like, still, like, part the four. manga looks, like, a lot more detailed, mm-hmm. like, at least the first part, that, that manga style changes up, like, halfway through, but, like... That's the problem. Wait, when you do part though. five, you'll see like, just, like, the like the art style kind of change like halfway through, yeah. but, like make more detail. Like you get a whole like, but you'll see when when it's animated, we'll see how it looks like. I'm curious to see what they're gonna do. The problem with anime is that it just can't look as good as yeah. the manga because the manga is just like the amount of time you can spend on one image is just gonna be it's gonna be so much better than like putting an image into motion and it's <laughs> I don't know. And also like Araki is just a great artist. Like his <laughs> style is just awesome. He's insane. Uh, and some, some, some like trans well, well, it depends on, like the studio, honestly too. Like that's true. Something like Trigger, where they put so much effort into making the animation. But like, they don't like. Really, do they have ma- like manga before they do the show? Cause, like I always see like them like have it like uh, come out like after their shows, like the Kill a Kill manga yeah. like after and like it's penny stocking. Trigger mostly does original, uh, original. Okay, things. Gynax is still. Gynax, Same thing. <laughs> Gynax, like half and half. Gynax, I think did some. They did it, some adaptations and. Like, yeah. Uh, was there was there an Eva manga before? No, no, no. No. Okay. Eva was original anime. Okay. I wasn't sure. I was... No, yeah. There was there's a manga that they wrote after it that is like an alternate universe sort of thing. Like it, it has like a different end, a way different ending. Yeah. But no, like I'm trying to think. Like Gunbuster, another one that was just an original anime. I think Ano actually. Like Flo- Ano directed a slice of life show. <laughs> Like a high school slice of life show that might might have been based off something. I I'm not sure about Fully Coolie. I don't. I think that may have been. Or, no, I don't think so. I think, I think that was original. original. Yeah, that manga came out later. Especially most of those like like short like six parters like those are normally original. Have you watched it yet? No. Oh, can you get on that? Fully Coolie, the fucking amazing. I know. It got me like right. It got me like back into anime after like oh, yeah. after like the tsunami after like all the the, the the afternoon ones went away. Mm-hmm. Like can't like the tsunami like, or Adult Swim ones. I think Samurai Shampoo is what got me into it. Because I, I loved Cowboy Bebop when I was like a little kid in elementary school. And then Adult Swim started showing Samurai Shampoo, and I was like, what is this? This is so cool. I, and I, that's when I found like, one, online but anime. They fully coolly got me back into it. And then like once I got Netflix for the first time, I think the first thing I watched was Soul Eater. Yeah, um, I remember being really into Soul Eater. Like, that was one of the Everything first. but until the ending I enjoyed. <laughs> I actually watched it with my mom. My mom really liked that Soul one, Eater too. Soul Eater was fun. I like the characters are fun. Like yeah, really, really animation, cool art design. Uh, art design, like OP was great. <laughs> OP is awesome. So like, char- yeah, like that got me like I faded. And then then you Samurai Shampoo was on there. I watched through that. And yeah. Like I don't know, man. Just like '90s ones, like certain Jim the Ref though. It was like you know like, like Cowboy what? Bebop. I know talking about the '90s. Then I was like, oh. It's like, but this one, like you know, it's just an anime. If you want to give it a try, I mean, it probably won't hurt if you like want to see. A interesting looking world, but like, mm. I don't want to like. I can't really, rec- it... I can't really recommend it, and I can't like say I hated it because yeah. like there's some aspects I didn't like. If you want to watch like a shitty version of Ghost in the Shell, yeah, like it had it had like echoes of Ghost in the Shell, which I don't want to like be presumptuous and say that it was. Watch it the first episode. If watch anything, watch the first episode because it's like well like animated more than the rest. Yeah. Of. I'd say, yeah, if you're really deadly curious, there's an ultra rare. <laughs> Shut some, up. It's a, an ultra rare episode someone put on YouTube. Yeah, the sub. You can the watch sub the first episode of the sub. sub. And it's actually very good quality. It looks like a. It was, yeah, it was Blu-ray good quality. quality or and, and try to find the other one on the, on the page, but just all Miku Hasune shit. <laughs> 
Uh, that's actually something I Ask heard for another recently. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> something I heard recently that I think is neat is like you know like old cell celluloid animation, like cell animation, like all what they did in like the nineties and before that. Yeah. Before they started doing it on computers, apparently the because it's like a real like existing cell, it can be upscaled into HD really easily. That's hmm. why you have some of these old anime looking really good. Hmm. Whereas something from like the two thousands is just like garbage shit. Cause yeah. It, it only came out in like forty p. And that's it. That's the only... That's the master. Yeah. So that was kind of interesting. Because that show looked really good. And it was, like, 97. <laughs> I don't think it came out on DVD anytime soon. Not, like... What, this? Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it was, like, a fun... If it was, like, a Funimation or, like, a major studio, it would have been, like, re-released by now, probably, on yeah. DVD. But, like, I don't think that one's going to be released anytime soon. Who knows? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> so... I'm never going to think about this show again. Did you like the cat girl, though? Did you say yes or no for that? Um... Yeah, I I said she was cute, but I her her like she was fine. Her There's attitude been is her like the way that she behaved was gross. I didn't like it. She had that stupid like ditzy personality. Yeah. It was not I don't know that great. And like it just yeah she it just made her seem like a child, which I guess she was seventeen, which is surprising, she was seventeen. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, whatever. All right, so so yeah, can't can't recommend it. Can't really recommend it. Can't probably watch the first episode of yeah. anything. That's all I can say. It, it worked as like a fun standalone. Like yeah, watch the first episode as an OVA. Yeah. Pretend like it's no yet, because there's so many weird things that happen in such a short, like in literally like 18 minutes. Hey, you know, like that building falling down in the nothingness and like <laughs> that, like the worst animated like building falling down. Yeah. All right, so I guess that's that's all you had to say. Anything else you want to say? No, that's it. Uh, all my thoughts for the show. All right. Shitty, uh, shitty gets. Shitty gets in the show. All right. Um. So let's talk about stuff you've done other than watching cat girls, or maybe you've watched more cat girls. I don't know. What have you done? Uh, I have not watched any cat girls, but I watched this awesome movie from the '80s, an awesome anime movie called Angel's Egg. Have you ever heard of it? No. Nah. Same director of Ghost in the Shell. Okay. Same direct, same character designer from Final Fantasy. Which one? I forget. Like, he was like <laughs> the one CG of the CG one. The movie? No, no, no. Or the I mean, game. This is '85. Like, he, like an original, like Final Fantasy. Like game, I guess. Okay. Games. Um, I forget the guy's name, but he's like he's been character designer for years and years. But this movie is like crazy. Like it's so avant garde and atmospheric, mm -hmm. and it's just strange for it's strange to watch a whole entire like anime movie like full length and it to have such little dialogue because it takes place in like this kind of like alternate world where there's just it's always cloudy and like. Everything, the architecture is very gothic, mm -hmm. but there's this one little girl who has this, like, giant egg that she runs around with, and she never leaves, and she ends up meeting this guy she who... She sit on it? She does not sit on it. Aww. She cuddles with it and keeps it warm. But she ends up meeting this guy who kind of, like, is, like, they, they it's really hard to explain, because not much happens. It's a lot of, like, you need to watch the movie to, like, see the relationship. Yeah. And it's just very, like, beautifully done. All the backgrounds are beautiful the animation's amazing especially for the 80s like yeah the amount of and for how weird of a project it is but mm -hmm. it becomes this weird like statement on like religion and mm -hmm. has these like it's just awesome mm -hmm. highly recommend it there's a lot to say about it but i'm <laughs> it's uh, very hard to like get into it are you, are you gonna watch any more anime movies like do you you, tell you, teams, hey, you didn't watch Sword of the Strangers, did you? No, I still haven't watched you need, that one. You, need to, you should watch that one. It's really good. Like, There's a lot animation, of... Animation. Like, sword fight an, animation. Yeah. Like, That's yeah. what I've heard. Every time anyone talks about the best animation, they always say that. It's that really movie. good. Like, I think it's, you should try to watch that one next. It's really good. I will. It's on my list. It's not like... I'm, I'm not really in for, like, a samurai story. <laughs> yeah. I, I really, like, I'm more interested in watching, like, uh, more by... Uh, Visuals. The guy that did... <laughs> um, What's it called? Uh, your name. Uh, oh, that guy. Yeah. I forget his didn't name. He, didn't you write? Didn't he like? There's like two movies or something. Yeah. He did Grave of Fireflies and Five Centimeters Per Second, which I both really want to watch. Yeah, Grave of Fireflies. I hear is very sad. Yeah, that's. So. Okay. Other than that, I haven't really done anything. Played a little Persona, but I'm still kind of like chilling yeah. out with that. How yeah. about you? Have you I've, watched anything or played anything? I've watched a few more Bill Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Pretty good. Um, got Kingdom Hearts, the, the collection, the 1.5, 2.5. Been playing for the first game also. Again, and hating it, having a bad time. First one's kind of rough, like, the camera's kind of rough, yeah. and the tracking, but, like, I'm still enjoying it. It's a lot of, like, nostalgia, and, like, I'm a lot better now than I was a stupid kid playing it. I remember having so much... I played that game when I was like, kid, having so many problems with it. Like... I was a bad little kid. I remember having such a hard time on, like... Mo I remember Monstro, like, in the whale... Oh like, uh, yeah, like, like the, I do. They fight, you fight the cage like heartless inside of it. Yeah. And, like, I ever had a hard time when I was younger 
And I was like, this is fucking easy as hell. What the hell is wrong with me? Like, what is, yeah. what is my strategy? That's the and, funniest like, feeling. And, like, I think I was a kid, I was, like, the longest time I didn't know about abilities that, like, that much. I didn't. Yeah. But, like, it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. I'm close to being Persona, but, like, I have to keep pushing myself, like, you know, back to there, because, like, I don't want it to end kind of mentality. Yeah, that's, I'm in the same mindset. Like, I'm in, I love it so much, and I really plow through the first half, and I, I just don't want it to end so soon. Yeah. So, other than that, and then I've been prepping, because we're going to do, I got a, got that, I got the made RPG in, which. Oh, yeah. We're going to do a play of, there's a friend, a couple friends, which I can't wait. Yeah, if you're not familiar, there's a tabletop RPG called Made RPG. That's like a Japanese anime maid inspired thing where you all so, the characters take the role of maids. maids, and then the game master is, is like the master. Yeah, and you go to you know do scenarios, but like a lot of like you there's know, a lot of like quirky supernatural things. Just it just sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, so and we'll see. We might do a podcast for that. <laughs> if it's super terrible, you'll never hear it. But... It's gonna be a cat girl maid. <laughs> Oh boy! So, Ooh, I want to. I want to be an android maid though. You can, well, it's it's random. The character, oh, is the it? character, okay. it's all traits. Can, there's weapons that are just basically cosmetic, but like uh-huh. you just have weapons, you can get weapons. <laughs> Yo, if one of us gets cat girl maid, it's gonna be like I don't mind being heaven. the master. Cause I, I really live into the first scenario, so like you get an idea of what we're gonna do. Oh yeah. So like I, have to, like I can give you a preview. I don't know. I'll give you a preview. Mm, no, I'll just wait. I'll nah, wait. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I need to get something a couple more like I need like three six sided dice. That's it. Mm, yeah, that's easy. That's all I need. But also, paper, but. like uh, just Google. But we ha- but we <laughs> There's have all your- these random right, dice generators. Yeah, we did. And we also have miss need your uh your cat girl. My cat girl, cat girl notebook. paper notebook to get like, <laughs> the notebook which I keep all of my cat girl notes. Yeah. So other than that, that's all that's going on with me. So, anything else you want to talk about? I just want to stress: go watch Angel's Egg. <laughs> it's a great movie. Everyone should watch this movie. It's Fantastic. But, is there no cat? Any cat girls? Nope. Then ignore it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we contractually cannot recommend anything that is not a. A and W right. told us we cannot like talk about any other cat girls. Just stress: A and W does not actually sponsor us. We can get in trouble <laughs> from A and W. All right, Gillette. Yeah, we're Gillette then. No. <laughs> the <laughs> well, best maybe, a man can get. Maybe A and W shouldn't have put their root beer in a shitty. Um, cat- Anime, <laughs> the cat girl anime and the shitty cat girl alien anime that did nothing mm-hmm. other than have Evangelion and Bruce Campbell. Like that's their that's their loss, not mine. Yeah. All right. Anything else? I guess that's it. All right. Uh, I just wanted to say we are on iTunes now. Mm-hmm. Hooray! I'm gonna add a little sound effect of like the children cheering. Mm, or just don't. <laughs> Probably won't. It's too much effort. <laughs> Just get or just get like a last track or like a woo, or like the the sitcom track like woo like <laughs> yeah like that. Well, so it'd and be awesome if you. I mean, like who like knows? comment subscribe. Yeah, like comment subscribe. No, it really <laughs> it helps a lot if you rate us and write a review on iTunes because right now we don't have like any exposure on there. It's fine. So. If if you really enjoy us and you think that'd be funny, all, if you want to share us with your friends, all dozens of you. Dozens is a large number. Dozen, a baker's dozen. All, a baker's all baker's dozen. dozen. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> we can also we would love recommendations for shows because we Any, we have kind of a big list right now. But if you guys want us to talk about, movie, like, I would love to movie know TV a show. show even live. A- we found like a live action show about an alien cat species that was on like ABC Family. Like like it, like we'll it, give us some you give us some like, sh- like TV yeah. movies games like either you know anything comic book we plan on doing a video game episode and a comic book episode later on yeah because we're both fans of like comics we have a good such. we have a friend who has a, a good history about knowing uh, at least Marvel's cat girl mm-hmm. so can't wait to talk about that and if you're interested in us doing more monster girl stuff which are things that we think are pretty funny and yeah enjoyable, it, any like monster like, we, you, you have some of the, like, the obvious ones but you know some lesser known like monster girls or like yeah. other animals because you know we have like spice and you know we have foxes and everything like that like we have like you know stuff yeah related. the last episode we did had a fox fox thing in it so so like, anything you sent to was it neoncast at gmail it's yes yeah, the, the neoncast at gmail.com i'm gonna the include neoncast. we're the we're the oh. only neoncast was, was neoncast at gmail taken it might have been. I just wanted to... I saw there were a few other neon casts. Was there another neon cast? There was a few others, but they were, like, inactive for a couple of years, so I wanted to specify Good. with the... We're going to buy them out. <laughs> going to buy them out become the empire of neon. The yeah. empire. The empire. I see what you did there. But, yeah. So, so yeah. Um, had, follow us on our places. Follow us on YouTube. And we, Twitter, also. Well, I do have a Twitter. I update it semi-regularly. I have no followers, so... <laughs> there's no point in me really posting. Yeah. Follow us on Tumblr. Not really. 
Oh, you can make a Tumblr. I can make a Tumblr, but I don't want to go to that that dark hole. Have like twenty porn naked girl accounts. Like, dude, that's how we get all of our (laughs) no one follows. They're all like like clickbait, like kind of shit. So yeah, uh, I guess that's really it. This is kind of dragging on. So yeah, just check us out. All Um, All of our episodes are on iTunes. If you iTunes, SoundCloud. Well, SoundCloud up up to a point on SoundCloud. We have like half our thing there. If you really want to like check out iTunes, if there's anyone that like doesn't use iTunes that uses like other ones, please tell me because I now that I set up the feed, I can easily do the work. Yeah, I'm the one that does all the work. You have the work. I'm moral support. (laughs) Fine. You're the you're the face. I'm the 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 face. I'm the face that runs the place. So. Uh. So yeah, just. Drop, drop us a line if you have any questions. If you just want to say, wow, this show sucks. I'm so offended that you make this show. Please stop. We'll read your email. And let me know if, like, a cat girl appears in, like, Super Sentai or, like, you know, any Sentai or Ultra, you know, kind of weird stuff like that because I'll watch that and just, just double check and everything. That's, that's, that's like, your my alley. field. So, yeah, let me know. Or let Jim know. Or he'll know. Let me know. You know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm the one with the email account. He'll, he'll so quote be. the words to me. <laughs> so, all right. So anything else you want to let know? Air drop? No, oh, I just want to say uh, we're officially a, a Wednesday podcast. Or a Wednesday podcast yeah. now? Oh, God. Our podcast comes out on Wednesdays. Well, lucky for me, I'll, all three days in a row next week so I can record a bunch. Yeah. So. All right. Well, so, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to the Yoncast. I've been Sam. I've been Jim. And see you next time, I guess. Yeah.